what follows is going to be a, a simple man's stress analysis of a bowstring bridge constructed from a kit of MDF has running through it three pieces of 20 millimeter aluminium extrusion as you can see span of the bridge total is one meter end to end and we should be supporting it on 25 millimeters at each end so that's the general setup but first we'll be doing some testing on the actual aluminium bars on their own without the big bridge structure around it so let battle commence right now we're about to do a proof testing on the bridge to see what the bending is with loads so let's first of all calibrate our scales so we're not playing with I've got a brand new one kilograms worth of sugar and I'm now going to weigh that on the scales and for all intents and purposes that's one kilogram take it off should zero itself that's correct all right I'll now get a calibrated brick this is what I'm going to be using to load up the bridge with and we'll just see how much one of those weighs And each one of those weighs 1.7 kilograms. Which is this is our test rig to start with. I have two aluminium 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter extrusions, of which in the actual bridge itself, which is over there, there are three. So first of all, we're going to see what the, the bending point of these are. Uh, from previous tests, I know I can go to a four millimeter deflection on the dial gauge and the bars will return to their same position. So we're within the elasticity of the material. So to prove that point, I'll set up the camera and load it up with a four millimeter deflection, remove the load and you'll see it goes back to zero. Right, so we're now set up on the zero point. I'm now going to each turn of the dial is one millimeter. So I'm going to use my hand initially so that's one millimeter, two, three, four. There we go, that's four, three, two, one, and zero. So we return back. So I'm now gonna start adding the weights. And we'll see what happens. And each weight, as we know from previously, is 1.7. So the weights will be added in the middle and I will do a video of where they are when we finish it. That's the first weight. That's 1.7. Uh, that's uh, 1.7 times 2. 1.7 times 3. 1.7 times 4. 7 times 5 times 6 times 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 Times eleven times twelve thirteen fourteen. So that's one point seven times fourteen. And I'm now adding one kilogram. And we now have four millimeters deflection. So I'll just go and film that now so you can actually see it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen 14 times 1.7 plus one. Gives us four millimeters. Remove the 
weights and then we should go back to zero. That's two off. Another two off. Another two off. Another two off. 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 Hopefully we've gone back to zero. So that was a four millimeter deflection. All right, let's do a bit of maths on that now. So we know we had four millimeters of movement. And to get that movement, we have 14 times 1.7 kilograms of bricks, which gives us 23.8 kilograms. We then added one of sugar. So that gives us 24.8. So we'll round that up for easy figures to 25 kilograms. So two beams moved four millimeters with 25 kilograms. Therefore, if we wanted to bend one beam by four millimeters, it's going to be half the weight, which is 12 and a half kilograms. The actual bridge has got three beams in it. So to move it by four millimeters at three beams is coming in at 24, 36, 37.5 kilograms. So beams on their own were safe to 37.5 kilograms. Right, well that's the calculation done. So now we'll move on and do the real thing on the real bridge. Right, so this is now our setup. We have two pieces of track as they will add to the stiffness, although they're not bolted down. We have our aluminium plate to spread the load. We have our dial gauge, which is attached to the actual bridge itself. So just as a, a check, if I put a bit of pressure with my hand on the bridge, we have the dial gauge moving. So I'll now set the camera up to record the dial gauge and at the same time I'll start to lift it. Okay, here we go then. So we're on zero. And we'll start to load it up. One, two, three, four lots of one point seven. Eight lots of one point seven. Ten. And the next bit's going to be difficult because I haven't got any room to actually get in there to put it in there. Uh, let's think about this in a moment. Uh, go in there. So far, yeah, okay. I'm going to add another two to bring it up to what we had before. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got 12 on there at the moment. That's 13. <sighs> 14. 
Uh, add the sugar. Right, that's our 14 at 1.7 and one kilogram of sugar sat on top. A little bit of creaking, but uh, certainly no deflection. In fact, we've got uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.35 millimeter deflection. Okay, I'll just apply a little bit of my own load to it. I'm probably applying, I don't know, I'm going to guess. In fact, if I put up some scales on there, can I do it that way? Right, I'm going to take the one kilogram of sugar off. I'm going to add some scales. If I can get them in there, I doubt it. Just. Right, okay. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14 at 1 1.7. And I'm now going to push down on the scales another five. And uh, we'll see what it comes up to. Well, hopefully the camera can still see it. Yep, we're still looking there. Right, so I'm going to add another five now. One, two, three, four, five. And release. So that was another five I added on top. Right, okay, so I'm going to take all the load off and we'll see if the breaker turns to the zero point. Well, just show you what we've actually had on there. Uh, if I just zoom that way and spin, just so you can see how I was loading it. Uh, we added some biscuits, that's not really a problem. Right, let's zoom back in again. Right, and I'll start to take the load off. Right, that's the load off, and we haven't quite come back to zero. Uh, why that we should be, I don't know fully, but it's come back within half a millimeter. So I just do a little, yeah, maybe that was it settling. Uh, could repeat the test again, but I'm quite happy that it took that load quite comfortably. Put it in perspective, I will now weigh a roundhouse engine. So we have our scales, which we know are accurate as we check them with a bag of sugar. So I'm now going to weigh my roundhouse 040, which is full of water ready to roll and comes in at three kilograms. So the bridge we know is good for 30. So we can effectively have 10 roundhouse engines all stacked on top of each other, going across the bridge at the same time. So what can I actually conclude from those tests I've done? Well, we can honestly say that the bridge itself will take a 
30 kilogram load but that's in the center of the bridge running down the middle so the load is spread evenly over the three beams but of course engines run on either side of the bridge so I would set a limit of each engine to be 12 and a half to 13 kilograms each engine that way when two engines are on the bridge at any time then that's getting on for 26 kilograms which is within the working area of the bridge.